peoples of Twitch, welcome back to another stream on the Meadow SMP. And today, oh my goodness gracious, today, oh no, I just totally demolished the entire intro there. Oh no. Oh no, it's gotta go through the whole windup. Oh no. Oh no, I've messed up. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, chat. It's fine. Everything's perfectly okay. This is not a bad omen for the stream. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. Everything is perfectly okay. There is nothing wrong here. Alright then! Well, apart from the everything is not okay! Oh dear! Admins, admins already off to a bad start then, are they? Well, oh well. Alright, rest in peace. Rest in, rest in peace, star. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. Attempt number two. Attempt number two! Welcome to the Meadow SMP! Today we are returning to the Ocean Monument! So without further ado, let's head out, because I, I just want to be rid of this. I just want to be rid of this intro, uh, intro. Okay, well, let's head off to the Ocean Monument. Admin should be joining us, unless there's something with the so dot dot dot. So... You went out for milk this morning so the kids could have cereal. Well, bye-bye, kids. You don't have a father anymore. You went out for milk. <laughs> I'm slightly scared, though, because the admin's not on the server yet. Usually they, usually they join really quickly. But there was freezing rain. Yeah, this is Canada, mate. There's always freezing rain. And you slipped- Oh, no. Admin, are you gonna be here to help with the ocean monument? I don't think they are. And I slipped and fell is not a good set. Wound up with three stitches in your mouse hand? Admin! No! Okay, great. So now that the admin's good, good is dead to me, I just need to do the monument all by myself then. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, feeling good, chat. Feeling good. Feeling good. Well, the admin is dead to me now, so let's just, let's just head out on our own then. We didn't need the admin anyways. I do not have nearly enough potatoes for this. What am I supposed to do without the admin? Well, no, the, I, I'm, I'll be fine. I'll be fine, chat. Just, just because the admin is dead doesn't mean that their potatoes are gone. I will just eat their potatoes for the rest of eternity. In fact, now there's not going to be anybody else eating the potatoes other than me, so they'll last longer. It'll be fine, chat. We didn't need the admin anyways. We didn't need them anyways. Now that we have all of their machines... As long as I don't touch it, they should not break and I will be set for life. It's fine, chat. It's perfectly fine. Okay, well, let's, let's actually just get started. There's a cow. Let's just get started then, shall we? Great. Wait a moment. Is this the last one? Bro, this is the last one. This is all that needs to get dried out. That's insane. Dude. We're like almost done. We're like almost done. Bruh? Bruh? Did the admin do this? No, they're broken now. So it couldn't have been the admin. Who did this? Unless the admin did this before they got demolished by the ice. Oh well, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I can take this over. See, there's not even that much. There's just this one strip, which is actually quite small because of the temple. So it's fine. Sorry, sorry, what? What do you mean, sorry? You're fine, admin. You're fine. I am quite enjoying this bit about the admin just being dead to me. I am very much enjoying it. For leaving a jump half done. If I had come back to find this entire thing drained, I would have been so miffed, admin, because this was my whole stream plan. Like, the job that probably would take you 20 minutes, I'm going to take a whole stream to do. And I am going to have no shame in doing it. It's awesome. It's great. Also, I don't know why you use so much wool and everything. I just kind of spam everything everywhere and hope for the best. The admin's so methodic about this. And where are my shears? There are my shears. I thought for a moment that the admin still had one of my tools, which I can't remember which one they had. I think they bored one of my tools on yesterday's stream. Wait, yesterday? Was it yesterday? It was not yesterday, it was the day before yesterday. Oh my gosh, I can't tell time anymore. Time is meaningless. T 
time is meaningless, Chad. It's all just a myth that we all came up with so that we have any idea what's going on in this world. Ah! Anyway, so anyway, okay, let's, let's continue on with the very normal Minecraft stream. Okay, let's see. Is that all the sponges? Oh, there's a piece of wool. Where? But I think that's all of the sponges. So let's fly out of here and head off the nether. You don't think you have any of my tools? Yeah, I don't think you do either. I seem to have all of my tools. I can't remember lending- Oh no! I lent slasher in my arson. And now I no longer have arson. It's gone. Looks like I'm missing two sponges. Probably. Probably. But this was all the sponges I could find. So there might be more laying around inside a chest somewhere, or they're lost to the abyss. But either way, I don't have them. So we have these sponges now, and that's it. I don't think anybody's planning on doing a water build currently, though. So it's not a huge deal, because it's really just this monument that the sponges are needed for. And then if anybody needs sponges in the future, they can just go find their own ocean monuments. And find more sponges! Because technically, I think that every single one of these sponges is technically mine. Because I'm the one who went to the marine temples to get them. So technically, they're all mine. They have just kind of become the builds. So that we can build more efficiently. Okay, there we go. I got all the sponges. Now we can move back up again. Sponge blob. I can't believe that Mojang doesn't get in trouble for that. I mean, it's technically Spang Blob. Or is it Spang Blob? It's Spang Blob. But I can't believe that they can get away with that being so close to a certain... Is it Nickelodeon? To a certain cartoon character of unknown production copyright. Okay, let's just pop this up here. And sneak through. Although, if someone were to sue Minecraft over the rights to saying Spang Blob in a lolcats language, I feel like the news would actually just be too dumb. Like, they say, like, they're, and the, sometimes they're saying that there isn't bad press because any press is just spreading it around the word. But I think that that counts as bad press. Getting known for suing someone over saying Spang Blob in a game. Could you imagine that headline? Mojang sued over Spang Blob in Lolcat's language over similarities close to SpongeBob TV show. That would be like the stupidest headline ever. Like that that sounds like something you would find on one of those satire news websites. Like I would immediately just think that that was fake news. Like, there's no way that that news could actually be real, I would think. This, 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 this is, this is just like a whole alternate reality that I've just been mapping out inside of my brain. Based on Spongebob. So that, that's approximately where my mental state is right now, chat, if there's any indication. Okay. I just saw the sword in my top right hand corner from the beacon and I thought that was a spoon and I was just like oh my god no I have mining fatigue what on earth I was so confused for like a solid three seconds there while I sneezed it was great it was great oh this is draining away nicely lovely okay now we just drain away all of this here and eventually we'll get to the other side. And I'm not doing this very efficiently, so I'm probably gonna have to make another trip to the nether before I am through with this. Which is probably bad. I should probably be trying to not go to the nether a whole bunch, because every single time I pick up all the sponges while there's still water down here, I risk losing them as the sponges kind of float away into the abyss. However, I also just don't really care. I'm just at the point where I'm just kind of like, Yo, I'm just spanging my way through. Why is there a crafting table there? I used that to plug up the hole in the ceiling so that I could go and dry out the monument. I just realized how stupid that sounds when I said that out loud. But yeah, that's what I did, admin. 
I used a random crafting table I had inside my inventory to plug up the hole because the only other f a block I had was sand and somebody knocked out my sand pillar. So then I had to use a crafting table. It was a great moment in Pukity history. Can I just say that real quick? I'm just gonna say that real quick. It was a great plan. It was like a glorious brain moment. Like, it was the type of brain moment that would have made Einstein jealous. That's me, Chad, the Minecrafter, with so much brain power, it would make Einstein jealous. It's great. It's great. I'm doing great, chat. Okay, we're just gonna grab all of these Spanish blobs here, and now it's starting to rain. Which is not amazing. I mean, rain be great. It stops, I don't know, fires. Which actually is not really the greatest. I like fire. But other people don't like it when stuff light when their stuff lights on fire. And I don't like it when my stuff lights on fire. So rain's pretty poggers. Yeah. Rain. Fires. That why? Why is that the first place my brain went? Is just fire! Anyway, so now I'm slightly concerned for my sanity, which takes quite a bit, actually. Usually I'm pretty chill about my sanity, but no. No. 11 minutes into a Minecraft stream and we're already talking about sanity. Not a good sign, chat. Not a good sign. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Let's just break all of the spanges and return to normal reality. Hey, look at that! It's dry over here! That makes it so much easier. Nice! How come this is so much deeper over here than over here? Like, this is so shallow. And then over here, it's just like, I am the deepest thing you have ever seen, and yeah, wait a moment, we're PG-13. I realize this is going into very... out-of-context bad territory. So we're just going to stop talking about that and return to talking about Prismarine! Yeah, Prismarine! If you think about it, all of the guardians here are made out of Prismarine. So, like... Either they're made out of the same substance that the temple is made out of, or the temple is made up of dead remnants of their brethren. I prefer the latter explanation, just because it sounds like a much more fun explanation. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, like, hi, Timmy, welcome to the monument, welcome to the monument, good to see you, new employee, it's a good time, a good time, got lots of good benefits here, you'll fit in great here. Hey, what's the building made out of? Oh, nothing, you just made out of the last person who held your position. What? Um, I mean, nothing. Nothing. This is a perfect- this is a perfectly, uh, workplace safe area. Yes, it is completely certified. 100%. Don't worry about me. It's perfectly fine. Just don't ask about any old employees here. That's- that's how- that's why the last employee got fired. It's fine, guys. Okay, so I am now attached to the idea that marine temples are really just, like, really big companies like the catacomb what there are catacombs in paris that are made out of human remains yo i thought that french people were chill nah nah not only do they kind of just chop off people's head they also just make entire catacombs out of other people that sounds Fun. Well, I mean, in inside of a shortage, you don't. If you don't got the materials, I mean, you got someone nobody likes. I mean, they'd make a great brick. Just thinking. Just thinking. The catacombs of Paris, French catacombs de Paris. Pronunciation help info. <laughs> you just copy pasted this admin. Wait, can I can I press help info? To get the pronunciation. Can I can I press that? Can I press that? No, no, it does not work. I'm gonna try to press it inside of the chat. That was incredibly depressing. <laughs> no, thanks for that, admin. Um, okay, our underground ossuaries in Paris, France, which hold the remains of more than six million people in a small part of a tunnel network built to consolidate Paris's ancient stone quarries. I read all of that, and I understood even less than- I- I- I understood- negative the, the amount that i read and then put a negative sign in front of it that's how much i understood i think that i lost brain cells while reading that and i don't know how i don't know how and i lost a span somewhere 
Is there a Spanish sitting somewhere? Just sitting lonely somewhere? I don't want to lose a ton of span. Oh, there's the Spanish. Found it. Great, now we can fly out of here and go back to the nether to dry all this out. Awesome! Great! Anyway, so apparently there was just, like, dead people tunnels inside of France. Which is kind of weirding me out. At least it's not in the part of France that's, like, 17 kilometers off of Canada. I would feel really weirded out if there was, like... Dead People Island, like, 17 kilometers off of Canada. That would just be kind of weird. I'm not sure I would be okay with that. And if you want miles for that, any Americans watching, I have no clue what 17 kilometers is in miles. If I were to guess, it's um, maybe 30. 20, 20 to 30 miles or something. I have no clue. No, that doesn't make sense. It's less. It would be about maybe 10 miles. It's a very drastic difference, I recognize that. No, it's fine, it's fine. Miles are bigger than kilometers, that means it's- Ah, 10 and a half miles! I got it right, I got it right, I got it right. Like 10 miles, that's close enough, that's close enough. 10 and a half miles, yeah! France is 10 and a half miles away from Canada. <laughs> Go ahead and tell that to your geography teacher. Watch as their head spins all the way around, or they, or they, kn or they know about the islands, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, it's a, it's a smart child, it's a smart child." So it's up to you guys if you want to tell your geography teacher that France is seventeen. There's a part of France. Make sure to include that. Of course, or the the better way to say it is, Canada has a has a maritime border with France, where there is only seventeen kilometers between their two borders. Hydrate or Make sure dihydrate? To <gasps> hydrate or dihydrate? Wee! Let's not die while hydrating. <laughs> Aggressive cup slam! Hello! Hello, David! Just David! Welcome to draining the ocean monument where we drain the monument while a fish guy tries to murder us. It's a race against time and the fish guy. Let's go. Who is going to die first? Not me. Not me. I have the Spanish blobs on my side. I cannot be defeated while I have the Spanish blobs on my side. Oops. No, I cannot. I shall never die. I shall never die. But this fish guy is about to die. He's annoying me. He's annoying me. Oh my god, there's two fish guys. There's two of them. There's two. They have multiplied. They have multiplied, chat. I repeat, they have multiplied. I am slightly terrified for my life. Ha! Well, it's dead now. I am no longer terrified for my life. Screw them. I was never scared. I knew I was going to win the entire time. Yes! One day I'm gonna become an auctioneer, chat. That's my life goal. I'm gonna talk so fast, no one will ever actually be able to understand what I'm saying, and it's gonna be, like, the best thing ever. This is my life goal, chat. I'm gonna become an auctioneer. And instead of sending in a resume, I'm just gonna send in a video. That's all I'm gonna send in. And I'll see if I get hired. Probably won't, but you never know, chat. You never know. It's a possibility. No, this is the Pookity life goal, chat. Oh, I'm killing the fish. Ha, schmuck. Okay, now we just destroyed all this person. That was actually really quick. Okay, wait, I'm done now. Wait. I'm done now. All I need to drain now is the tiny ponds and the inside of the monument. What do I do with my life now? What do I do with my life now, chat? I'm done! I don't know what I'm supposed to do with my life anymore! That's probably a good way to interview for an auctioneer job. Just send send in like a VOD of me just talking incredibly fast. Perfect. No resume needed. No resume needed. Just send in a Minecraft video where you can't even see my face. For all you know, this is a completely random Minecraft streamer that I just plucked off the internet. Except for the fact that my voice sounds exactly the same. It's fine. It's fine, chat. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's perfectly fine. Okay, let's grab all of this up, and more spange there. 
No, I will never say sponge correctly. I, I, I will only actually be able to say it a few more times and then I'll be done with the monument. So I'll never get to say it again. So I need to get all the sponges I can out of this now. That's... 50... 64... Plus 46... 64 plus 46... 110... No, I need to actually get this into proper stack. Okay, so it's 61... 1, 2, 3... Yes, I have the exact right amount of sponges! I have all the sponges that I started with. I'm good to go. But I don't even need to dry them now. I, actually, now I do need to dry them because I need them for the inside of the mansion. Forgot about that. That and employee. Me? What does that and employees mean? I'm confused. I'm confused. Hey, you pronounced it right. What do you mean I pronounced it right? And then you didn't. Employee? Employee? Is that right? I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. I don't care what you say. That's right. That's right. I say it's right, so it is right. It's fine. It's fine. I'm good at language, chat. I'm good at language. Language be good. Okay, there we go. If we just... Ooh! Hello there. M is a hard syllable, like the letter M. Employee, um, 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 no, isn't it um? Employee? Or do you say employee? Oh, that sounds so horrible. I'm going back to employee. Employee sounds so much nicer than employee. Employee can just burn in hell. It sounds so nasty compared to employee. I mean, just think about employee. Mmm, beautiful. Oh, did I just French brain it? I may have. Well, you know what? It's fine. French, French, French. Overrated. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. If I if I say it's overrated, then I have to not do it. But I do the employee. Employee sounds nicer. Screw you all. It's employee now. I'm saying it employee, and you cannot stop me. You cannot stop me, admin. You cannot stop me. I am invincible. I will live forever. Okay. Let's boink this down here. There we are. And then we need some torches. Torches. There are no torches here. Great. I will just steal them from this wall. And now I'm gonna go take down all of the sand. Unless you unplug this gray cable here that provides- OH NO! No! Leave the meadow alone! Leave the meadow alone! What did the meadow ever do to you? No! 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 Leave it be! Don't touch it! Don't touch my precious child! Please don't! Ah! Uh... Okay. It's fine now. Hopefully, I mean, admin, you hurt your hand, so could you even unplug the cable? Or would it just not work with a damaged hand? Would you just kind of like grasp it with like a bandaged hand and just like kind of like paw at it? Like, just like, eh. 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 Was that a challenge? No! 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 Please do not unplug the server that I am playing on in this very moment. Please do not do that. I need to find a better admin that doesn't threaten to unplug the server every three seconds. Maybe I can- maybe I can recruit the admin's wife. Chase the admin out of his own home to protect my ma my Minecraft server. It's okay, chat. It's a plan. It's a plan. It's a great plan at that. This is an amazing plan. Although, I remember the admin telling me about how his wife tried to e-cycle his computers that he was using a while back. He just came home from work one day and they were all like e-cycled, so never mind, admin, you can stay. You can stay, admin. I as 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 much as it stresses me out that you like to threaten to unplug it, I also appreciate the server not ending up inside of a recycling bin one day. So never mind. This 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 admin is okay. Okay, there we go. 
And take all that down, take all that down, and down we get. Okay. okay so I've been having a great moment where I have been playing a new a switch a switch game, which actually actually technically it's an old version of of Zelda. It's Skyward Sword, but it got remastered towards the Switch. And I've been playing it recently. And it, it requires a lot of motion control with like the, the, the controllers. However, I sit on the corner of a couch. So right up against a wall. The amount of times that I have accidentally punched the wall is not good. Anyway, so I am now, now when I play, I sit very much in the center of the couch because I don't want to punch the wall. Thank you very much, but I am slightly attached to my hand and if my hand goes through the wall, I'm very, very, very concerned. I also might not ever be allowed to play again if my hand goes through the wall. Anyway, continuing, continuing, it's fine, it's fine. I sit in the middle of the couch now. Today, today I was playing and without me realizing, my younger brother came to sit right next to me while I was playing. Short little kid he is. So I didn't notice him. He sat right next to me. However, I hold my hands kind of stupidly high while I play to make sure that like the, the tr to make sure that the, the, the to make sure that the mo like the sensing thing of the switch can properly see where the controller is so I have the best control. So my hands happened to directly align with my younger brother's head. If you can kind of see where I'm going with this. So this is completely not my fault. Completely not my fault. I, I, I went in to make like a sword slash, like a spin attack. So I moved my hand, swung it right out. And I fully knocked this kid up. Like, I full on, like, walloped him across the head. He went, like, tipping over. And I'm just like, shoot! And so then I fed him a chocolate so that he wouldn't go complain to mom that I punched him in the head. It's fine. It's fine, chat. He didn't squeal. Although I think my mom might be what You know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not sure if my mom watches my streams. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I fed him a chocolate, everyone. It was okay. He's fine. It didn't bruise. Everything's fine. Oh, hello there. Oh, you t-balled one of your kids playing Wii Sports when they were very little? No, Admin! The ant that was supposed to be running interference got distracted and let them wander into the swing ring. No! Oh, that's that that's that's awesome. I swear the amount of injuries that Nintendo has probably inadvertently caused over the ages is probably not a small amount. That and broken TVs. I feel like Nintendo probably has several of those underneath their belts. Wait, their belts? Nintendo the the solitaire. Yes, I know how to speak chat. Very, very good at speaking. Yes. Ah, die while die. Anyway, that sounded very political when I said it that way. Um, anyway. Taking down the sand barrier that I ran out of inventory for. And here we go. Sand in here is somewhere. Sand in here is somewhere. Here we go. The original Wii remote strats were so bad that Nintendo provided free replacements for every controller ever sold. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. Also, I used to think that, like, because you, especially on, like, Wii games, every single game would have something telling you to strap the Wii remote to your hand because every single game used motion controls. So every single game had you swing the remote. Which was kind of the point of the Wii, actually. Like, now something controls were motion. But I I always thought that was so dumb because back, back then, my parents were incredibly smart and did not get very many games that had you swinging around the Wii remote like crazy. Or if they did have them, they did not let my, like, I don't know, eight-year-old self anywhere near them. So I just had this game where the only motion control you had is holding the Wii remote in your hand, you just shook it up and down. Like, that was it. That was it. 
So, it, even if you accidentally threw it, it wouldn't go anywhere, because you didn't have to shake it very hard. So I always thought this strap thing was so stupid. Like, why on earth would you have to strap this to your wrist when even if I accidentally chuck it, it's maybe going like two feet up and then hitting me in the head. That's about it. Two feet does, yes. No, that does not an, 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 an anatomically body per mic speak. Anyway, good brain. Uh, let's see. I completely lost where I was. Uh, yes, yes, so I'm thinking this, I'm thinking this strap thing is completely stupid. I thought it was stupid until I did throw the Wii Remote up and it hit me in the face. And I'm just sitting there having a great time playing this kid's game and I'm like shaking the controller like, come on! I can do this. Like, I think, I can't remember what the shaking did. It was something really stupid though, but it was, I had, you had to do it a lot during that thing because it was like an attack and I'm so like shaking so viciously hard. And then as I'm shaking up... It slips out of my fingers, and I full get the Wii Remote in my chin, and I'm just like, yo, what the heck? Ever since then, I have very dutifully used the straps whenever I use any sort- whenever I'm playing any sort of game that requires any sort of movement of the controller. So, there- there really is knowledge in that whole saying, a kid does it once and then never again, because I- Never, never forgot to strap it after that. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. I got like full whacked in the face with a re Wii remote. It like tried to end my whole life there. So yeah, that was that's that 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 that's the that's the Pugety experience with a Wii remote. Feeling good. Anyway, I was here draining sand all alone. <laughs> Nobody else- hello there, cow. Nobody else here, just chilling, having a great time. Get for doodles, that's just me, just digging some sand. Yep, just chilling, having a great day. Blame your children- yeah, I will blame your children. This is- this is all the admin's children's fault. I mean, if they just didn't need milk, what little toads they are needing milk. Absolute suckers. Okay, let's pop Bernie sticks inside of our inventory. There we go. And just knock down all the sand that is just not physicsing. There we go. There we go. Fun time, sunny skies. If we just knock all that out, I have a lot of sand clicking inside my inventory. But I think I'm actually almost done. I think this is actually the last sand wall here. Then there's a- yeah, this is the last sand wall here. Then there's a few pillars of sand here, and then I need to take out the half a gravel wall over there. But yeah, then after that, I am good to just drain out the puddles everywhere. And make sure that there's no hidden water anywhere that the guardians can live inside. Perfect! And then we're actually done. Although, as we go, it's gonna get- exponentially worse well, it's not exponentially but it's going to get worse and worse and worse as i go trying to drain everything because as i get rid of spawning spots more and more and more and more and more guardians are going to be crammed inside of single spawning spots which is just going to make everything difficult very 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 fast okay there we go we just got all this up and down there there we go there we go. And down here, and over here, and over here, and over here. Okay, there we go. We got all of the torches. Do you ever wonder about the fact that your Minecraft characters carries lit torches around inside their inventory? Like, look. Look. That is lit. Inside of my hand, that is just on fire. And I will just carry up like 64 of them inside of like one slot, one hand. I'm just carrying like 64 of them, like no sweat. And if you actually set them down, they're like almost, they're like almost, they're taller than half a block. So they are more than one and a half. They are more than, yes, they're more than one and a half feet tall. Approximately two feet if I were to guess. These things are like approximately two feet long. Burning sticks of wood and you just carry them around in your inventory like no big deal mate. This is fine. Like 
meter, meter, like, giant meter by meter blocks are crazy enough, but, like, two feet tall sticks of burning wood? Like, oh my goodness gracious, you're, like, the ultimate carnival juggler. Like, you're, like, the, you're, like, a, the average juggler's dream. Being able to juggle 64 just straight sticks of burning wood? Any juggler would, like, cry and sell their soul to some sort of deity to try to get that level of skill. Anyway, so now that I've gone on in my little tangent about torches, Minecraft torches of all things, we're actually all done with the sand. I feel irrationally proud of this, considering the admin did, like, more than half the work here. But I am still incredibly proud of myself, chat. You know what i Let's take out that wall over there, and then maybe also a bit try to clean up this platform here, because it's a bit of a disaster. And then we'll see how it looks. Actually, I might just leave it up, honestly, because it's at the point where like, we're actually really done enough. We're gonna be done soon enough, turning this into a... Actually, I might be able to get this, like, fully ready to become a guardian farm in today's stream. I expect to have at least, like, I think I'm still gonna have at least one more stream on it. Like, especially putting in the actual guardian farm part. But I feel like I actually might be done in only, like, two streams. Like, this shouldn't even take that long. This is absolutely insane. This is absolutely insane. We're, all, we're almost done. Also, I've been having, like, a lot of little mini revelations recently. In 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 a lot of the Spider-Man comics and, like, and, the, and some of the TV shows, Spider-Man, or, like, Peter Parker, technically, works for the, the Daily Bugle, the, the newspaper in that world. And what he does is he takes photos of Spider-Man in action which uh spoil spoil spoiler alert peter parker is spider-man S well I, f I feel like if that's a spoiler alert you live underneath a rock so just saying okay okay moving on sorry got distracted also i'm actually gonna sleep real quick so no creepers spawn down here anyway so peter parker just sells pictures of himself to the daily bugle spider-man was literally Peter Parker legit was OnlyFans before Only OnlyFans was a thing. Just thinking out loud here, chat. Anyway, so I may or may not have just ruined a few childhoods, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Childhood is overrated. Childhood is completely overrated. Okay, let's chop through here. Let's chop through here. Okay, also another dumb thought. Another dumb thought. Um, child stars like kids that get very very famous while they're still very young when they have their teenage angst stage of their life like it's not only like the parents that are looking at it like oh my god jesus take the wheel this is insane it's like Everybody who follows them, like, everybody be watching this child star be going through the teenage angst, just like, oh my goodness gracious, this be... Mm -hmm. So that's just my thought, like, what happens when child stars go through, like, the teenage angst? Like, especially, like, the, like uh, movie stars? Because they, like, sign contracts. Well, technically, their parents sign up. Look up Drew Barrymore, Britney Spears, or Justin Bieber. I don't think Justin Bieber has even now recovered from the angst phase. Anyway, continuing. Continuing. I, I, I have said nothing, chat. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Okay. I'm actually gonna flatten this all out to a solitary level. Just because I'm a perfectionist. So this is gonna be the level I choose. Anyway, so. Got completely distracted there. Ah, oh, I was saying something and I completely forgot it. My brain is gone. Oh, yes, yes. Like, fa famous movie star. Like, children movie stars. Their parents sign contracts, so they're, like, stuck in their movies once they're in them, man. Oh, no! Ah, I have made a mistake! I have made a mistake, chat! I have made a mistake! Anyway, so, these kids are very much part of this now. They cannot get out of it. 
So they they be like dragging themselves to work in their teenage angst phase. Like, no, director, I don't want to go to work today. But and they still have to do it. So what do the directors do for that? Do they just have to like deal with like just the teenage angst? You were just about to start a poll on how long it would take me to do that. That would be an incredibly depressing poll. We've only got three viewers right now, admin. I think that literally only you would have voted on it. You and like maybe one other person. I have no clue. I have no clue who is actually a person and who is just kind of lurking. Oh well. Oh well, we appreciate everyone here, especially the lurkers. Lurkers are awesome. Because then I don't have to talk to people because people suck, but I still be chillin'. Which is great. Okay, there we go. Let's knock all this out. This is gonna be a pain in the butt to scrape out later all of this up here, but you know what? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It will be fine! That's not fine! Ah! There we go. It's like, is that- I just heard something, but I don't know what it was. I think I might just be going crazy. It's definitely the cow. I'm blaming it on the cow. I'm blaming it all on the cow, always. And there's so that sign that, like, you- I, like, 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 directors actually have to deal with when they're working with child stars. It's like teenage angst. Like, is that actually something that would have to be dealt with? Like, I can just imagine, like, a whole bunch of directors out of a meeting, like, okay, guys, we're thinking about casting for the next thing. Okay, so we have two options. We can cast the cast with actual accurate ages, or we can get a whole bunch of 20-year-olds and tell them to pretend to be this age. And I can just imagine, like, the pros and cons list just written really big on the cons list. Just teenage angst. And this is, like, this is just, like, in my thoughts now. This is just what I am thinking about. It's so, like, if anybody ever wonders what goes on inside of the average Pugity's brain, this is approximately what is inside of the average Pugity's brain all the time. Like, I don't think that my brain has an on switch. It just kind of perpetually stays on the do not disturb switch. Like, that. that is approximately where my brain is 90% of the time. Also, I should change one of these to haste. No, I should not change one of these to haste. That would be a terrible, 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 terrible plan. Actually, I'm gonna wait for the stone to do last, then I might change it to haste. Might change a taste once I'm done with all the gravel digging. Yes, probably gonna do that. We shall see, we shall see, we shall see, we shall see, chat. Okay, anyway, now we're gonna dig all this out. I actually don't think any guardians are spawning out of this. I actually don't think I need to go this slow, but I'm gonna go this slow anyways. Because I want it to be all smooth, because eventually I'm probably gonna build some sort of nice build down here. Either that or I'll say that I'm gonna do it, and then I'm never actually gonna do it. Either or, one of them. One or one or one or one or the other will maybe eventually happen. Probably. Eventually I'll build something. It just might not happen while any of us are still alive to witness it. Anyway, if we flutter down here, we can dig out the gravel here. Oh no! I did it again! Ah! Okay, there we go. Perfection! Also, why do you think Tina would have teenage angst? Like, what's the point of it? I say knowing full well as a teenager. What does it do? Does it just kinda chill there? Just like, I am angsty now. Ooga booga. That's just what it is. Just something to try to, I don't know, population control maybe? Because, I mean, if you see an angsty teenager, I'm sure that, like, whoever sees it is not gonna want to have their own children. Let's go with that. You can't just say that right after I start talking about population control, admin! Admin! Stream delay just put you inside of an incredibly awkward position. What do you mean? Did you actually mean that teenage angst is meant for population control? Please say no! Oh my gosh. It put you exactly where you- Admin, no! Admin! 
Okay, so don't you have teenage children? And you're just saying that they're population control? Three of them. Oh, you poor soul. Anyway, so I, you're literally here just saying, yes, teenagers are pop- Teenager angst is population control. It make people no want to have kid. When you have three kids that are teenage- Oh my gosh, admin. <gasps> admin! Sometimes- Sometimes I am impressed by your bravery. Other times I am confounded by your stupidity. How many people do you know that have babies after they have a 14 year old on purpose? Well, I mean... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, actually. I don't think anyone does. Wait, so teenagers- teenage angst is literally just population control. I'm gonna tell this to my biology teacher and ask what they think about it. We're at two viewers now, so I'm thinking I had a teenager in the viewing at some point. I no longer do, probably. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I am just population control, you guys. I am just population control at this point. Lovely. Well, guys, it's me. Welcome to my stream. I'm population control. Let's go. Okay, eventually one day we'll be done flattening all this out, chat. And then we can drain everything. That may be because you swapped to VOD mod view or maybe that might be that might be you swapped to mod view it might have discounted you as a viewer although that doesn't really make sense i don't know i don't really understand anything my brain just kind of floats around in a perpetual state of next to nothingness which is kind of impressive considering i somehow still manage to be a functioning meat person with next to zero brain capacity well, we're down to one viewer. We're doing great. We're doing great. Hey, it's like the old days. It has been so long since I've been down to one viewer. One of the things that amazed me most, actually, when I started streaming, was the fact that I had one viewer. Because my very first stream, I had one viewer the whole time, which I think it actually might just be counting myself. Because my first stream was rough. I was doing it on a laptop, on Wi-Fi was not good. It was not good. I went back and I re-watched my VOD afterwards being like, yeah, this is gonna be so bad. My voice is gonna be so crummy because I'm using a bad mic. No, turns out the stream was like not working at all. It was just like approximately half a frame accompanied with its sound and then like a solid like maybe five seconds and then oh there goes another frame. Woo! But it was like five seconds forward frame. So I was just like, yo, what the heck? So I watch this and I die of shame and then I never wanted to stream again. But then I worked it out and actually got attached to Ethernet in order to stream. So a top tip, guys. If you ever want to stream, make sure that you are attached to Ethernet. Unless you have absolutely insane Wi-Fi. Like, if you have really good Wi-Fi, be my guest. All, all, all the power to you. Stream on Wi-Fi. Be that sadist that does that. But, if you do not have good Wi-Fi, you're not gonna do so hot as a streamer if you are not connected to an Ethernet. Oh my goodness gracious. I re-watched it. It was so bad. It was so bad. It was so bad. Okay, I thought that I was out of rockets, so I had to go back, but no, turns out I was actually br big brain. I thought ahead, which, like, never happens, so I'm incredibly proud of myself, chat. I actually thought ahead for once. It, like, never happens, but today is a good day, apparently. Today is an incredibly good day. Today is a very, very, very bad day. Aren't I also a walking Faraday? What do you mean I'm a walking Faraday cage? What's a Faraday cage? What's a Faraday cage? I'm confused what a Faraday cage is. My brain isn't big enough for this. 
My brain isn't big enough for this. It's a cage that blow- Oh yeah, true, 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 true. That, that is also a bizarre feature of mine, is that I block Wi-Fi. My parents laugh about it all the time because they can always tell when I walk up this- Because for me, I have stairs against a wall and then I have a kitchen. And my parents like to talk at like the kitchen table or inside the living room, which is right next to it, but it's open. So you can hear from the stairs. And they'll be able to tell when I'm, like, sneaking up from the stairs to come grab, like, a snack or something. Because all of a sudden, their Wi-Fi will just stop. And they'll just, like, scream from up in the living room or table or wherever they are. And I'm like, we know you're there! And I'll just be here just like, dang it, I just wanted a snack. I just wanted a snack. But it's great. It's great, chat. I eventually got the snack anyways. Now I just get snacks anyways. And I'm just like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I just run up the stairs really fast that I don't interfere with anything. But it is like the most bizarre thing ever. And you know what? I think I might actually take over the world with it someday. I mean, like, could you imagine the world without Wi-Fi? Like... Like, every- everyone would just, like, cease functioning if there was no Wi-Fi. So that's what I just need to do, chat. I just need to, like, harness this power of mine to block Wi-Fi. And then I just need to take over the world. Beacon bit. This is not beacon bits anymore. And this is the admins. Well, I hope you're hungry, admin. You have a lot- you have a lot for a dinner today. Gravel? Mmm, tasty, yeah. Yum. Gravel. It's- 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 it's nutritious. Filling. Oh no, admin. <laughs> screw you, screw you, admin. Okay, let's real quick get our coal so I can make myself some torches. And I'm gonna have to steal wood from the nether, which is really, really, really weird to say, even now. Like, it has been so long since the nether got updated. Like, it has been absolutely forever since the nether got updated, and I still get weirded out by how alive it is. Like, I still get weirded out by it, which is slightly depressing. You have sorted those shulkers so many times? Yeah, and then I come and destroy it. It's a perfect symbiotic relationship. It's perfection. There we go! Perfection. There should be nether wood in one of those shulkers. Yeah, probably! But I don't want to have to look for it. It's actually probably quicker for me to just go get my own wood. Parasitism. No, no, this is mutualism. We definitely both benefit from this. I mean, look at all the work that I've done, admin. I've been completely flattening this area when it does not need to be flat. I'm so helpful. I'm so helpful, admin. Look at how helpful I am. I am contributing to society. Also, if you- if you- if you- if you keep calling me a parasite, I'll block out all of your Wi-Fi. Screw you. I'll just make a magical Wi-Fi dome that'll just black out half of the city. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. I'm just gonna harness my super- right. this is- this is- this is my super villain story, chat. You- you are witnessing the super villain backstory of Pookity. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I'm just going to come to a supervillain awakening, and I'm going to demolish everybody's Wi-Fi. Nobody needs Wi-Fi or cell signals or anything. Just screw everybody. Perfection. It's a great plan, chat. This is an amazing, amazing plan. No one can stop me. Also, I think I'm gonna make, like, a secret bunker underneath this marine temple that no one is going to know about, even though I am talking about it on stream. It's perfectly fine. No one will ever know about it. Especially not the admin. The admin can never know. No, it's my secret bunker. Nobody else on the server is gonna know where it is. I'm just gonna have secret bunkers everywhere. Same as my base. Technically, yeah, that, that, that's actually what I've been doing, honestly. This is, this is just, like, my, my way of doing stuff. Because everybody kind of knows where everything I do is, because I stream, like, basically every single moment that I'm on the server. But, if I work around that, like, adding a maze to my nether base, which, 
technically they can also use my streams as a map of me going through the maze. But them doing that will probably take long enough to count as a view. So who really wins here, Chet? Who really wins in the end here? This is a good plan. This was definitely 100% thought out by me and definitely was not just a uh, 3 a.m. You know what would be great inside of my base? A maze thought. It was definitely not just that. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not in the end. I'm not in the end. I'm inside of the nether. I'm inside of the overworld right now. I'm talking about my nether base. I should build an end base. Although the admins are thinking about resetting the ends every now and again so that we can keep getting elytras. Who- you said who wins in the- oh, true. So who wins- who wins between all of us, then? Who wins in the finishing time of it all? That would be me. That would just be me, Chad. It is shooting me through the wall. How on earth- OH MY GOD! IT'S NOT IN THE WALL! OH MY GOD! IT'S JUST ON LAND! HOLY- Oh, there's a hole. Hi. Yeah, there's just guardians, like, everywhere around there. I'm just gonna back off from there, actually. Yeah, that's just a not-today kind of problem. I'm just gonna flatten out all of this first, like, make sure there's no massive pockets of water out here. And then I'm gonna deal with inside of the mansion, because that seems like a great, great, great plan. Deal with the place full of twists and turns when it is completely packed full of angry, spiky people that can use magic. Mansion? Well, yes, they live inside of there, and it's heckin' chunkers, so it's a mansion. By that definition, all the skyscrapers that people work at is a mansion, and you guys can just shush because mansions are everywhere. Isn't it so nice to say that my city is full of mansions instead of my city is full of skyscrapers? It's perfect. Mansions all the way. Huh? Is that Pookity? Hello, 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 Slasherin! Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream! Boink! Now we go, let's grab that. Hey yo, admin. Yeah, everyone just calls Star Admin. It's just stuck on, and I'm incredibly proud of myself. Star, the name that you have chosen is completely useless here. Everyone calls you Admin here. Hope you like that, because it's not changing anytime soon. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo! But you can only pop in for like one second, you gotta head out by. Bye! Bye Slasher in! Good to see you! Farewell! Have a lovely life, I'm out of food. Great, I'm gonna eat some potatoes, it's lovely. And now we dig out an insane amount of gravel once again! Then eventually I'm gonna add like all sorts of light here and everything's gonna be lit up and I'm just gonna be like, Hey yo, no one can be here unless they are just blinded by the light and it's gonna be glorious. And look how flat everything is. It's like a flat earther's dream. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Also, is Minecraft flat? Is Minecraft just like a really heckin' chonkers flat earth that just spans on forever? Also, quickly, before you poop away forever- <gasps> Triple pig! Yes! Beautiful! Okay. Oh, hello, what's this? I am out of inventory space. That's good. Love running out of inventory space. Also, I have sponges that I have to not use at all, so they're just like taking up inventory space, but you know what? A-okay. Love having inventory space that is just completely wasted. Hey, look, look how beautifully sorted all of this is until I came along, and now it's lovely. It's absolutely lovely and definitely sorted. Yep, or doodles. I am certainly following the sorting situation that the admin has been using. If it wasn't flat, you would get really weird measurements in the far lands. You would get really weird measurements in the far lands. Far lands don't exist anymore, admin. The far lands don't exist anymore. Those got taken out. Now the Minecraft world is literally infinite, unless you add in a world border. Which is something that we do not have on the meta, which we probably actually should have made one, because people just kind of wander here. Like, the amount that everybody has rendered is slightly insane. Like, it's, it's more than slightly insane. Trying to get stuff in new biomes, like trying to get new biomes is absolutely insane. 
At the North Pole, if you walk 20 kilometers south, then 20 kilometers west, then 20 kilometers north, you wind up back at the North Pole. That never happens in Minecraft. True, yeah, it never does happen. Eh. Oh, well. Well, Minecraft is flat. Because that also makes sense, because you can see as far as your render distance can go. If... Like, if, if you get a mod that increases your render distance, you can see even further. There is no end to that. If, if the world was round in Minecraft, then you would eventually stop just because of the roundness. Also, we need to take that down. I forgot about that. So we need to get Admin to take down all of their diamonds once, they, once they're no longer dead. So once Admin gets resurrected, they can take back their diamonds, then I can blow up the top of the tree, then I can chop it all down. Because there is no way that I am just peacefully taking off that crystal by using water or something. There is absolutely zero way that is happening. No, I am just going to snipe it with a bow while in flight. There is no other feasible, physical, physically possible option. There is just none. Also, I'm running out of frogs. I should breed them at some point. Well, no, because I have a frog army at the Mesa, so it'll be okay. No matter how few frogs I have, I will always be able to repopulate. Not a huge problem. I love how just casually I can mention random things on this server. I mean, the frog army in the Mesa? No problem. I mean, the panda army I have. I have a lot of animal armies, actually. That's absolutely fine. The pit that I keep my ocelots in, perfectly fine. The mass murder of an entire species and the demolishing of their natural habitat, perfectly a-okay. It's just Minecraft, mates. The amount of terrible things that I do inside of Minecraft is more than slightly insane. Like, I think that I've actually committed war crimes in Minecraft before. But you know what? It's perfectly- <gasps> I thought that was the hole that went down forever, but it was not. It was just a shroom light. We are a okay then, chat. No problem, no worries, just a shroom light. It is not just an endless fall into oblivion! Okay, well there we go. We are back now! Awesome! Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, that's flat, that's flat. Over here is not flat, but it is nighttime. Actually, I should be lighting this up as I go. So let's actually light this up a little bit. Yeah, let's actually just light all this up a bit, just so that we don't have an insane amount of monsters spawning everywhere. That would probably not be preferable. Wee! Coming on, coming on, coming on, coming on. Welcome, 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 welcome to the chat, Cruzy. What an entrance. That's a bright idea, Admin. You should go burn in some place not very pleasant for that. You should just go burn. Oh, I'm gonna dry up all of this real quick. You've been existing in meadows? How pleasant! Existing in meadows is nice. Meadow is great. Also, the admin's dead, so the admin won't be online for a while. If there were any crimes you were planning on doing, now is not a good time to do it because it's just me to punish you now and I'm a lot less lenient. So, that just took a turn that you did not expect then, didn't it? You're not dead. You know, you're dead, admin. You're dead. You're just dead. Oh, it's so wet under here. I could totally, like, live under here and no one would ever find me. That would be hilarious. That would be absolutely hilarious to me. Oof. Yeah, big I just have an injured mouse hand. Yeah, they're not technically dead, but they're as good as dead because they can't go on the meadow oh. until they're healed up, which is going to take a long time. Yeah, I mean, how long is it until your, like, hand is better? Do you have any idea? Any idea, admin? So, Cruzy knows how long not to commit crimes for? Stitches come out- OH MY GOD, STITCHES! That is not great! You're just like- And you got that because you slipped on ice! Love Canada. Absolutely love Canada. Yeah, yeah, mate, I slipped on my way to work. I now have stitches and I'm in the hospital wishing my loved ones farewell. Oh, slipped on ice. Yeah, welcome to Canada, mate. Where ice can just send you to the hospital. It's kind of insane now that I say that out loud that it can actually do that. But yeah, that is, that is what ice can do. 
Canada is a very, very hostile place to live. The more I think about it, the less and less and less I understand why people actually choose to live here. Like, it's nice and all. I mean, universal health care. I mean, pretty land. But also, it's incredibly hostile. Stop blocking the word year with an S on it. Yes, I will block it forever. I actually, no one's even tried to talk about their age recently, so I actually might take that off. I might take that off, because the person who talked about that all the time and is the very reason that got implemented has not been on in a long time. The entire country literally wants to kill you. It literally does. Like, it literally tries to kill you all the time, and it's not amazing. So it was kind of just like, well, that's fun. That's fun. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. At least we don't have poisonous spiders. They all die here in the cold. Wait, actually, I think that we have poisonous spiders very, very far south. Black widow spiders. Very far south. Some of them exist. That was about us. That was about us. Not us. What? Anyway, not many people say I'm X year old, they just say I'm X. Yeah, true. But I can't exactly go and block every single number under 20, can I? Aus Australia. Okay, there we go. That was about Aus. No, yeah, that was about Australia, not us. Shh. Shh. It's fine, it's fine. I definitely understand every single chat message that is written. I definitely understand every single one. Definitely that. What about the 53 year olds in chat? I don't care if they say that they're 53. I don't care if the admin says their age either. What I care about is the people who go like, I'm 14 and then immediately go on to talk about how they have been following me since like a year. And I'm like, oh my gosh, darn it. You just literally told me that you were on here when you weren't allowed, which means that I technically have to get rid of you because you were once not allowed on here, which means I should have gotten rid of you at that point. Uh-oh, yeah, uh-oh, Cruzy. You better not talk about anything of your past, because I know you barely, barely are allowed on here. Never talk about your past, Cruzy. You just simply popped into existence the moment that you were legally allowed to. You're fine, you're fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's a-okay, okay. but yeah. I, 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 I have very much had some very suspicious moments where I've actually technically broken the legal contract that I signed. You were never allowed on Twitch. Shh, 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 shh. We don't talk about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No one's ever allowed on Twitch. We're all just secretly octopuses floating around. You misread that. Oh, you were never not allowed on Twitch. Yeah, you were never not allowed on Twitch. You just simply popped into existence when you were 64. See, everyone, Cruzy is technically 64 and has secretly been 64 this whole time. Stop incriminating me! I will incriminate you however I want, Cruzy! I shall frame you for all the crimes. All the crimes! A Stack of cruzy, yes, a stack of cruzy. Oh my goodness, when I turn 64, I'm gonna be a stack of pookity. It'll be great, a stack of cruzies. Lural. We love grammar, we love grammar. Wee! I'm gonna murder all the stone, do da, do da. I'm gonna murder this whole island, it's gonna die. Oh my gosh. Just before winter break, we were watching a video in biology about some biologist who was trying to disprove the, I think it's like green earth theory or something. I can't remember what it's called, but it was the original idea. Oh, but you were a very good little boy and didn't go on Twitch when you weren't allowed. Yes, definitely. You waited until you were of the legal age. 100, and then you definitely had your parents read the entire terms and conditions and click the agree for you because you aren't legally allowed to do that. Yes, this is certainly what happened, Twitch. Yep, we're all legal here. By that you mean you didn't know it existed. Same, actually, here. Yes, same. I think that I... I think that I was actually 
technically old enough to go on Twitch from the moment that it started getting popular. I would like to say existed, but I actually don't know how old Twitch is, so I actually can't say that. Also, I don't want to say that because that makes me feel incredibly old to be older than Twitch. Okay. Anyway, so if I just float her down here and pick this up, there we go. And I can seal all this up once I have a bunch of stone, which I don't have a lot right now. You doubt Twitch is that old? I don't think it is that old, yeah. Imagine being older than Google. Yeah, he yeah here's admin here, just being absolutely ancient. You think Twitch isn't allowed on Twitch? Oh yeah, 100%, 100%. It is definitely not allowed on its own self, which is kind of funny. Kind of funny that way, isn't it? Anyway, I, got I thought I had something I was saying that I completely forgot about it. Which means, oh well, we're moved on now. Fun times. I love remembering things and then not remembering them. Like, I remember that I forgot something. But I don't remember what I've forgotten. So, like, thanks, brain. You're absolutely useless today. But it's fine. It's fine. I never have a brain anyways. So it's actually just about normal right now. It's just normal pookity functioning right now. Woohoo! There is just an infinite hole that goes on into nothingness there. Let's just seal that off so I never have to look at it again. There we go. Also, I'm just gonna dig out all this gravel so I can dig out all the stone at once instead of having to do it like bit by bit so I don't have to drop gravel. I just accidentally demolished the wall. Well, I can fix that up later. Let's work on this for now. Yes, look, there we go. The wall demol demolition has finally caught up. Woohoo! Also, I am 100% just procrastinating and going inside of that mansion. The thing, a temple thing. Ah! The temple. I'm 100% procrastinating going into that temple to try to kill everything inside of it because, oh my gosh, that place is scary. Look, there's like tails poking out everywhere. I am incredibly scared to try to drain that thing. It's gonna be an absolute disaster. It's gonna be like monsters everywhere in there. Like every single twist and turn. I'm gonna be like placing sponges like a madman trying to drain it as I get attacked on all sides by a whole bunch of spiky magic fish. You need the mini map show you you need the mini map mod that sh mod that shows mods. I would actually not like that because I would just look over in like the corner and I would see like a massive I was like a massive splotch of just like whatever color I have mobs and I would just be like wow that's lovely that's lovely wait your brain is square you can read yes we love reading because you're definitely old enough that you know how to read <laughs> yep we're legal on twitch we're all legal on twitch here yep yep none of us are illegal here twitch none of us are illegal it's fine we all definitely read the terms and conditions, and if we are under 18, had parents read them and click agree to. Yep, or doodles. Are you implying that there are no adults that can't read? There are adults that can't read. However, however, you need to be able to read to read the terms and description, the, ter the terms and conditions, unless you use a, use a read to me thing. Which I guess you could also do, so never mind, Cruzy, you don't have to be able to read. You don't have to be able to read to be on Twitch. You're legal! You are legal! We're all legal here. We're all legal, always. Yep, or doodles! Yep, 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 yep! Yep, or doodles, we're all, le we're all legal. We are, I have no clue where I first heard that, but I just used that. Yep, or doodles. I don't know where it came from, but it's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Okay, we just plug all this up with this and zight, and then later die, right? You stole it from me. Ah! How dare you? Although I'm pretty sure I probably stole it from somewhere else. Just can't remember where. So technically, you're stealing from me, stealing it from somewhere else, probably. Anyway, mod thingy, please read. Yes, there is, there is. Now see me in the mod, did you see the mod on Discord? I did not, no, I can check that out. Eventually. I'm scared of the drugs that are- 
I'm scared of the mods that you suggested after somebody suggested a drug mod on Meadow, and I'm kind of just like, this is a PG-13. This is a PG-13. You am the original English. You made you made the words you use. You copy nobody. Oh my gosh. If we, the mod is very normal and actually very convenient. I'm slightly scared. I'm gonna check this because this might be hilarious comedy if it's something really, really, really stupid. But it's probably not. It's probably something completely normal. Oh, it's just item swapper. Crazy. Crazy. I am not gonna read all of that this whole time because I don't like reading. Reading is boring. It's not stupid. You <laughs> sad cruising to annoy. Yeah, it's it's actually not. It's not stupid. It's amazing. It's it's not stupid. It's 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 I I am not. I don't know what it fully is, but it is not stupid, which surprised me. Which is kind of rude to say, but. I don't think I've ever gotten a serious suggestion on that- on that Meadow server. I don't think I have ever gotten a single serious suggestion. Ever. Which amazes me. Absolutely amazes me. It works with all the mods we use. Fun times. Fun times. Might check that out and find out what it actually is later. But I don't like reading on stream because I am an incredibly slow reader. Oh my gosh, I literally discovered not too long ago that my mom is on like the 58th book of a massive series that she only started reading in September. And I'm like absolutely losing my mind. Like I can't even read. I have a single book that I have been trying to read for the past like four years and I have not finished it. I don't think I've gotten past like the first half of the first book. It's insane. It's insane. And she's just here on like book like 58 after only like three months of reading. Or just maybe four, maybe four, like three, three, four months of reading. And I'm here just like, yo, how on earth do you even? Like, how on earth do you even? I'm like absolutely losing my mind here. I'm just like, yo, yo, how, how, how? You suck at reading and you'll try your very hardest. We have to reread a block of test four or five times. Text, text, not test. Same here, mate, same here. But then I became a streamer and I have to read blocks of test, text that are moving by very, very fast. I don't know why I did this to myself. I don't think that like anything I do or I'm good at and bad at actually collaborates with being a streamer, but you know what? It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. I run around being stupid and people watch it. So I mean, who's the real winner here? Anyway, you can read fast, but sometimes you just can't. Yep, yep, yep. Not fun, not fun. Reading sucks. Reading can just go burn in hell. Apparently, that's a symptom of ADHD, which would make sense, but you're not diagnosed. You know, I, I, I don't know what to say to this other than... If you... If you good words. Psychiatrist. Psychiatrist! There we go. There's the word. Psychiatrist, psychologist, those guys, those guys, those, 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 those guys are magic at figuring out those types of stuff. So if you want to look into that, that is the person to go to. I think. I think. IDK, though. ID, I don't know. I don't know, though. <laughs> you know. Okay. Yep. 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 Yeah, just, just, just double checking because there are lots and lots and lots of people who will just like self-diagnose off of Google, which is a terrible thing to do. Oh my God! If you go to Google with a sore thumb, you will end up diagnosing yourself with prostate cancer. Never trust Google. You do fine. It's okay. All right then. You do you, Cruzy. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. But yeah, never ever trust Google for trying to self-diagnose yourself. It will never, ever turn out good. Like, ever. Ever. Just trust. <laughs> never trust Google. You can trust this one thing about Google is that you should never trust it. That is the only thing you can fully 100% trust about Google is the lack of trust, which is ironic. Google told you you probably needed stitches, and you did need stitches, but 
If you were at the point where you were googling, do I need stitches, you probably need stitches. Just saying. Just saying. If you think that you might need stitches, you should probably go to a hospital or an urgent care, and then they can decide if you need stitches or not. Because otherwise, you might end up losing whatever appendage you're having stitched. Which is not preferable. I mean, you're not self-diagnosing. We have good reason to believe you do from your family having a history with neurodivergency and have a te and you had a lot of textbook symptoms. All right, then. Well. Great. Great. I don't know what to say here. Cool. Andesite! Wee! Andesite! Subject change. This is Andesite chat. Andesite. Such a fun block. I mean, it's so useful. I mean, guys, guys, just think about it. When you're building like a gray, but you have symptoms of being a textbook, that's kind of, that is, that is beautiful. That is a beautiful takeaway from that admin. That is a beautiful takeaway, and I think Oscar Diggs would be proud of that terrible, terrible joke. Anyway, this is the wrong level. There we go. But it's like when you got glasses, you don't really care. You can still read. So they mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Reading, reading, be reading, be good. Glasses be great. Until the end with a fingerprint on them, and then you just cry because you have a fingerprint on your glasses. So bad. So horrible. I was just about you have symptoms of being a Google. Shush. Admin actually does have symptoms of being a Google. It kind of worries me sometimes. I mean, I have literally met the admin in real life, and sometimes even I question when I see their chats, is this just a Alexa? Is this just like a Google Alexa that has somehow sneaked onto my Twitch chat? Is this you, Alexa? Admin, admin, admin. Star, star, is this really just a secret Alexa? Who admin meetup? No way. Um, actually, the, the reason I know admin is because they're they're a friend of my mom's in real life. That's actually how I met them. And then I just remembered that they had a hickin' ton of computers. So when I got kicked off of UN and wanted to start, no, United S and P, not UN. Yeah, United. Oh, lovely. As for finger friends on glasses, yeah, those are not fun. Those suck. But yeah, no, I met I met I met admin in real life, and then I just kinda once I got kicked off of United SMP, I just kinda went to him and told him that he needed to host my server. Oh, you met a couple of your friends, uh, friends from your mom, so that's nice. That's awesome. That's amazing. We love we love we love we love meeting new friends. Kid boogers are far worse. What? Why did fingerprints on glasses just get associated with kid boogers on glasses? One of your kids has had glasses since they were three. Oh, that's unlucky. Your glasses get nasty. Yeah, that's, that does not sound fun. Admin, why do you have kids? Kids just sound not fun. Like, why do you have kids? Why? iPad kids with glasses scare you? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh wait, Admin, I have a question. You have like young kids and old kids, but you said that teenage angst was population control. How does that work? Cause you have young kids and you have teenagers. In fact, just iPad kids scare, they scare me too. I'm not fully sure what these people are. They scare me just cause they're a person. The answer to that violates your PG-13 rules. Oh. You do not manufacture the young ones. Okay, admin, ad, admin is a child kidnapper. Feeling good. Feeling good. We're learning, chat. We're learning things. A petri dish! You were made in a- you are made in a lab in a petri dish. That's lovely. Um, um, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, admin. You, ad, except, I feel like I actually should probably clarify this. Admin is not a child kidnapper. Please don't ever say you steal kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I realized I realized how horrible that joke was right after I made it. So now we're just gonna sit here and we are going just in case you get caught. Just in case. Yep, yeah, doodles. Yeah, no. Admin, admin does not steal kids. They're they're a okay. They're a okay. We murder. Anyway, so. Is that in your fight? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, I remember me mentioning that somewhere along the line, and I realized how terrible that joke was after I made it. Well, lovely. 
I'm just gonna sit here, like, bright red behind my chair, suffering in mortification. You work with CFS to provide a safe home for kids in need. Yeah, 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 I'm just, it's just getting worse. Just feeling worse. Oh, so it's like staying- No! Oh my, the, the amount of bad rep that foster parents get for stealing kids is kinda crazy. Kinda crazy. Oh well, well. This stream did not go how I thought it was going to. Anyway, SMASH! Oh, I know what I was talking about a while ago that I completely forgot about. My biology class. We were just watching a video, because it's so close to the end, and you give them food. How could you? Ah, oh, the audacity. Do your streams ever go according to plan? That is actually a, a good point. They- that guy just slid in. Like, yo, he just, like, appeared. Anyway, so I got completely distracted. Um, my biology class. We were just sitting watching a video. And I already don't trust ecologists. That guardian. Yeah, that guardian just, like, slid in, yo. He was just, like, chilling. He was just like, yo, what's up, bros? Get a wet floor sign. Probably should, yeah. I mean, the sponges are, like, bright yellow. Does that count? They're, like, bright yellow, like the wet floor signs. Does that count for anything? Wee! Anyway, so we just place all this here, and we try to light this up so that nobody dies. Kill Sue. Well, screw him. I'm gonna be killing him in about four seconds. Then he can't sue. Take that, Guardian, bro. You can't sue if you're unalived. Okay, anyways. So this biology class, we're watching a video about ecology because we're inside the ecology unit and I already do not trust his parents. Well, I'm killing his parents, too. Am I gonna th oh, the elders? Oh yeah, they're already all dead. I killed them a long time ago. If anything, they should be suing me for killing their parents and like basically making them Bruce Wayne. Anyway, so... Is it Bruce? It is Bruce Wayne. I'm not dumb. Am I? I am dumb. That's not a question. Hey! Hi! You're just chilling here, mate. Okay, thanks. Anyway, so this this biology class, we're watching a video on some ecologist who was trying to disprove, like, I think it's called, like, the Green Earth Theory. I feel like I should know what it's called, since it's probably gonna be on my final. But, you know what, I, I don't actually know it, so it'll be fine. It'll be fine. His brother will have an origin story, giving him plot armor. 100 per- I don't know, I can, I, can, I can crush any plot armor. They are just the side characters here. I have the most screen time, I'm the main character. It's fine. It's fine, chat. It's perfectly fine. Anyway, so completely got distracted. Okay, so this bi this biology class, we have we're learning about ecology. This ecology video, and I do not trust ecologists as far as I can throw them, which is actually pretty far because ecologists are sad little wimpy scientists. Anyway, so we're watching this video about this ecologist trying to pr disprove this theory that predators do not affect the amount of things below them. Mmm, that's a will move. Yep. Wait, will move. That's a will move. That's a will move. That's a will move reference. Will a oh, will what? That is a W, not an M. Feeling good, chat. Okay. Well, Will Wood. I have no clue what Will Wood is. Hoping it's not something not PG thirteen. Music guy. Fun times. Fun times. Then. Well, accidentally referenced a music guy. Feeling good. Oh, I have dry sponges here. That's great. Anyway, so, I'm just chilling outside this biology class, watching this video about this ecologist, and he's trying to disprove this theory that predators do not influence things below them, because that's a theory, saying that the only thing that changes the amount of creatures living in an area is the amount of things that they eat living in that area. So predators, even if you increase them or take them away, will not influence the amount of things below them, which is kind of stupid. I mean, like, that's, I, I, I try not to diss science too much because I don't understand a lot of it, but, like, that's a stupid theory. If I add two tigers to a cage of four rabbits, there's going to be no rabbits. Anyway, so, kind of stupid, but oh well, oh well. So this guy's trying to disprove it, which I feel like could be pretty easy to disprove. Like, you literally just have to get a petri dish with yeast and add some bacteria that eat yeast. That's all you need to do. That's literally all you need to do and make sure that there's still, like, a stable amount of whatever the yeast is eating inside the petri dish. But no! No! This guy! Me! Yes! Just add, just, just add, just add some bacteria to the petri dish that Cruzy grew up in. Anyway, so... 
This is so stupid. So let me. I'm just gonna do this. Sorry. Okay. So. So this 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 is a beautiful video has this guy trying to just prove this, but instead of using the petri dish, this lovely lovely easy way to prove it, he goes out to this random beach covered in like so much marine life, like dozens of different species. You got like mussels, you got uh little starfish, you have like seals, you have all sorts of stuff growing here. You got kelp, everything is growing here. It's absolutely beautiful. He just grabs a starfish, which eats all the mussels, and yates it. He just grabs all of the starfish and just yeets them into the ocean. Just yeets them. And I'm just like, what on earth are you doing? Just absolutely just, just getting rid of the starfish. You know, he just yeets them. He just yeets them. And yeets them out of the ocean where they will undoubtedly die. There is not there is no muscles for them to eat out in the middle of the gosh darn ocean. So they're definitely gonna die. Great, so then he yeets them all. And then he comes back- oh god, there's a guardian right there. So then he comes back in like three years to see what happened. Then he's like, oh, look at that! Look at that! Everything's dead. Because the muscles have just taken absolutely everything over. They've just taken over the entire beach. Everything else was heartlessly murdered by the muscles. He turned this lovely ecosystem where there was literally like all sorts of creatures everywhere and just killed every single one of them by yeeting starfish into the ocean. And it's just like, what the heck? Like, these ecologists are dangerous! They are just dangerous, chat. In their, in their quest to save the Earth, they destroy so much stuff. It's actually, it's actually scares me. Like, another video we were watching, it was literally these people trying to prove that just because you have space for animals doesn't mean it's enough. They have to have connected habitats, not just a whole bunch of tiny habitats everywhere. In order to prove that, they took this lovely, huge section of the Amazon rainforest and clear-cut the entire thing except for a tiny little square right in the center, and everything died in it. And they were like, hey, look at this! This proves our point! We need to not do this! You could have proved that with the already clear-cut portions! These ecologists scare me. They scare me. Or like some island in like Florida, I think. Some ecologists took this entire island from Florida. Like it was a tiny island, so it wasn't huge. The only thing that's living on it were insects and a few birds. But then they just surrounded it with like tarps. And they gassed the entire island and killed every single insect living on it. Every single one. To prove that there was a correlation between the size of an environment and the amount of species living in it. Once again, this could have been proved by a petri dish and some bacteria. This did not have to be proved by wiping out an entire island. Of course, it's Florida. Yeah, yeah, let's just wipe out Florida. They did this to multiple islands. This wasn't even just one island, this is multiple. They just killed everything. They were just like, yeah, this is fine. The saving the Earth? Yeah, let's do it by killing absolutely everything. That is a great plan, my dudes. It terrifies me, these ecologists. So, like, if anybody ever- If you ever wonder, what is Pukity's greatest fear? It is the ecologists. Those ecologists scare me. Okay, can I get under there and get that sponge under here? I already got it. Never mind, we're all good. Oh, it flew over here. Never mind. Florida man. Oh, no. Flor Florida man does not scare me. Florida ecologist man scares me. And I am missing a singular sponge. There it is. There it is. Let me just grab that real quick. Thank you very much. Hello there, Guardian. You're looking terrible today. Alright, let's get going. Yeah, Florida man? No problem. I could take Florida man in a moment. Florida ecologist man? Be afraid. Be very, very afraid, chat. Those, 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 those Florida ecologist men's are terrifying. Okay, let's fly into the nether and burn all the sponges. I feel like- oh my- oh, I'm actually out of stream time. Oh! I'm actually done streaming. Oh, who would have known that talking about ecologists would make the time fly? Who would have known? 
down. Wee! Ow! That's a wall! Okay, that worked out great for me. I know they're teeny weeny cube. Ow! So I can fly through this no problem going the other way, but going this way? Nah, nah man, nah man, nah. I just float. Also, one of my favorite things I've ever done that is absolutely amazing is in some of the older in some, in some of the older Zelda games you can choose what name you use and then those the characters will use that name and you can make it whatever the heck you want because it's not an online game so there's like no censoring it's like once i named a character my dude which was absolutely hilarious there were quite a few moments where it didn't make any sense but there were other points where it was so hilarious because the characters the other, the other, the NPCs would be like, Oh my gosh, you need to save us, my dude! The whole world is collapsing, my dude! And it was absolutely, it was absolutely hilarious. I, t I, 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 I had way too much fun with it. I found it way funnier than I should have. It was so stupid. It was so absolutely stupid, but so worth it. So I took this entire game, and I played it completely. Just named my dude. Which was amazing. You discovered you might have been on Minecraft since 1.2? Crazy if I had any doubts that you were legally allowed to be on Twitch, they- those just got dissipated right there. Man, kid, you're old. Alright, wow! Thank you all for watching today's stream! We worked on our ocean monuments! Yippee! Yeah, for doodles, you're old, Cruzy. Alright then! Well, but thank you all for watching today's stream. Let's see what I'm gonna send you guys all off to today. Ooh, Slasherin's loud. I'm gonna send you guys all over to Slasherin. Well, hope to see you guys all in my next stream. Have a great day, night three, and panic attack. Whatever this is for you. Hope you guys have a good one. And hope to see y'all in my next stream. You remember when you Desert Temples had wool? And you was in 1.3? No, Cruzy! We'll have a fun time over at Slasherin. Enjoy being old. Ciao! Well, thank you all once again for watching today's stream. It's been great having y'all. Hope to see y'all all again. Ciao!